Hello everybody and welcome back to Sidecraft. So, uh, I've got some good news uh, in our house. Uh-oh. Well, I had a zombie pigman in here. I promise I did. Uh, I have no idea what happened to him. He might have glitched through that glass and died and burned in lava. Get off my... Get off my roof. Get, get off my roof. Uh... That's possible. But, oh, hey, what's this guy? Gisto? What? So, anyway, I see this zombie pigman standing right in front of that door. I'm like, oh, awesome. I'm going to get him inside. This is going to be so easy. So I run up to him. I give him a little push. He goes in. Those all torches? That looks, those look like flowers from a distance. See that? They're kind of flowery. Uh, he goes inside. And I'm like, awesome. I've got him. That was so simple. Oh, I thought that was going to be so much harder than it actually was. Oh, let's put this on. But it wasn't him. And then I was mad. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today we're just going to be, uh, you know, mowing the lawn here. You know, doing doing how we do. This is, this is our, this is what we do in this world. We just, you know, cut the grass, pancake it with water. Maybe. Yeah. Mmm, that flow. Um, I'm kidding, of course. I do have something planned, but, uh, I'm gonna get rid of some of this grass here first. Just make it a bit easier. Um, yeah, that's looking not too bad. I think it's gonna be in this area down here. I haven't actually, uh, planned out where I'm putting it. Or how big it's gonna be, for that matter. But, uh, and I've got iron bars. Um, today, we are building something that's been long overdue. Uh, and... Some, by long overdue, I mean something I, I meant to do pretty much one of the first things in this series. Uh, you'll, any of my more committed viewers will remember that um, in the beginning of this series, I one of my horses had died when I was uh, over in the desert working on my first XP farm. And I was planning on building him a grave for a long time, and I just never got around to it. And I, uh, finally I feel bad enough about it that I'm actually going to get to it. Uh, also, I'm out of ideas for other things to do. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, this horse was never named. Oh, I also need some leather to, uh put in the grave and a chest. I've read a lot of things. What was I here for? Iron bars. Do I have any? No. Yeah. Give me those. Uh, and I need leather. Right. Sorry. My eyes are a little itchy, so I keep trying to stop and give them a bit of a rub. Rub job. Oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> um, and I need a sign, too. And a chest. Don't know why that was like that. Uh, what else do I need? I've got my circle stone, which I'm uh, finally putting a use to. Oh, I need. Do I need an item frame? Yeah, I need an, and a saddle. Man, I suck at this game. I have so many freaking saddles too. It's absurd. Uh, what else? Well, I'm up here. I know I had thought of something else. Got torches. Got that. Got my shovel in case I need to do some landscaping. Oh, right, ender pearls. Give me those. You guys can also see how many ender pearls I have. Wow, look at all that madness. Do I need four stacks? No. Eh, that'll do. Oh, uh, I did that so inefficiently. It makes me mad. <laughs> okay, so let's head back over there and we'll get started on this build. Uh. It's going to look a little gloomy, kind of run down, like it's uh, been built for a while, because it should have been, <laughs> and uh, a little beat up, you know, like graveyardy. Um, so let's put I think entrance over here, and then I can expand it this way, if need be. I hate grass, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. One day, I'm actually going to go through this stupid biome and destroy all of the grass. 
just because I find it so annoying. Ooh, I wish I hadn't done that like that. Okay, it's that, and, uh, so it's gonna be, you know when I was, uh, working on that cave in one of the last episodes, and I, uh, I kind of had it so, oh, I need, I need stairs of these too, don't I? I think just, I only need two. That should be more than enough. That was efficient. Uh... I should probably rename this series just Cyclops Does Things Inefficiently. <laughs> and then laughs way too hard at his own bad jokes. <laughs> just better and better. Better names. I need some sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep too well last night. Uh, I've been kind of overwhelmed by the amount of things I have to do before I go away. and It's been kind of getting to me a little bit, but... I'll get it done, and then I'll go on vacation, and I'll relax, which I think I just need to do, because I haven't been doing that for a while. So that's like the gate into the cemetery, and then, how did I have the graves? Where's my shovel? I have it on my bar. Oh, oh man, this thing is insane. Get off my face. Like that, and then the wall comes. That one more, one further, like so. Yep, that looks perfecto. Or I, I, you know what? Let's uh, let's give my horses lots of room here between the walls. Um, it's, it's a really simple build today. It's, uh, not too fancy, not what I'm sure you guys are a little more used to. But, um, like I said, I am getting a little shy of ideas, and I can't clean up the, uh, Christmas tree until, uh, until I have a silk touch pick, which I, I don't have any of right now, and that's a problem. I wish I had more signs. That would be nice. I could chop a tree. I haven't actually chopped down a wild tree in so long. This feels... Ew, no, I don't like it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Can't make me. No. Figure something else out. I like those trees. <laughs> um, oh, right. There's some in here, I believe. Be at least two wood blocks. I moved. I removed all this for the Christmas special, and have yet to replant. But I will also. Uh, my branched trees started growing again. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or what's up, but uh, the I'm assuming trees will now grow through anything because uh. uh they actually will grow, like, upwards through, or through bedrock now. So, you can, uh, like, use trees to grow holes in bedrock. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how. It's kind of confusing and seems a little witchcraft-like to me. So, if you want to know, uh, I suggest you look at, like, Doc M or somebody who actually knows what the hell they're doing in this, with this game. Um, how is... Oh, do. Where would? I don't see any. Okay, I think I have all of it that I can get. Now let's run over here and chop down one more, because I suck at preparing for videos. We'll uh, chop a swamp tree. I hate swamp trees. They look like poop. Where are my ender pearls? Why did I take them off my bar? Oh, and night's coming. Fun! And I don't think I brought a bed over to... Oh, yeah, I did. How nice of me. Good work. Oh, hello, Mr. Donkey. How are you? Uh, so, this is probably going to be old news for you guys, uh, because the Christmas special will have been out for a good long while, but I literally figured this out last night after I recorded the episode on the 24th. 
No. On the 26th, I think, the Boxing Day episode. Uh, I, I, that, yeah, last night was when I finally figured out the, uh, the texture packs and how to get reindeer for horses. And, uh, today, well, I, uh, well, doing my job and not wanting to be there, I figured out how to, uh, well, I didn't figure this out, how to do it yet. I'm still, I've still gotta actually do the work for it. But I figured out that instead of covering all of the trees in snow, uh, like I will have had done in the in the Christmas special, I can simply uh, change the texture of oak leaves in forests and birch leaves. Because I'm not sure, but I think they have different textures with oak leaves depending on biomes. Plains and forests might be the same, but I don't even think that. See how it's kind of more yellow here and different there? So what I'm going to do is for forest trees, I'm going to make it so that the top layer here is white. And then kind of trickling down through is going to be traces of white, like uh, the snow has got in the leaves. I think that's going to look really cool. I hope it does. If not, this is all redundant information of stuff I never did. But I'm telling you it anyway, because I don't know what else to talk about. Um... So that's really exciting, and uh, today I also had like another just total epiphany of uh, a direction I could take this Christmas special in. So it might be totally different than what I had originally planned, and I'm hoping it is, because like my after my second plan for it is way cooler, and I think it'd be way more fun to record and way more fun to watch. So I'm hoping that you guys see the better version where I'm just going to say where more than just myself is involved. And I'm going to let that, uh, uh, I guess it's kind of irrelevant whether or not I tell you because, I mean, you already know if it hasn't happened. So, uh, what my second thought was, was to have, um, it, it was going to be like, I'm having, a, I'm throwing a Christmas party. So I'm going to get, uh, Coog and, uh. Uh, and uh, Goglebesh maybe, and like our friend Adam, to come over, and it'll be like we're having Christmas dinner, and hanging out, and you know, being friends. Because I mean, like, what's Christmas without without your pals? So that is kind of what I'm hoping I manage to get together. And uh, Coog should be calling me on Skype pretty soon. Uh, yeah, like seven minutes ago. But whatever, we'll we'll connect at some point. So I might have to stop recording and take a call on Skype at some point. So just uh, bear in mind that might be happening. Um, okay, this is coming along. Uh, and we're doing that, and the saddle goes in there. And then the sign will go on after. Uh, now I want the chest. I guess I didn't need to dig up both of these, did I? Leather will go there. Uh, I would have named this, like, the horse's name, but I never actually... Ugh, that grew over so quick. I never actually named this horse. He was, uh... He, he never actually got a name. So his name will literally be nameless on the grave. Uh... Jumped, oh, jumped into cactus. C wow, uh, cactus, right? Oh, except an A instead of a U. Cactus, there. And I should capitalize it because it'll look better. Cactus, I think. I think that's right. If not, I'll fix it later. But not right now. Uh, okay. So this is just about done. I'm going to kind of change out some of the blocks so that it looks a little more eroded. Kind of crumbling. And like I said, like it's been here for a while. Uh, get it cracked. Mm, cracked. I love the look of that. Okay, 
And then we're just going to leave these guys as open graves. And I'll probably put pods all here. Just that it won't... Or maybe I could till it. But I don't want it to be grass. I want it to actually be... Uh, to look different. Oh, uh, that'll go there. Let's see. Mossy. Cracked. Okay. Did I lose a block out here? Yeah, I did. Okay. And this guy. And this guy will both be... Leclacked. Perfecto. Uh, I'm going to put a torch on this. I should probably do another circle stone on this end. Uh, they're just going to kind of be accents to make the graves a little more special. Because they're, pr they're pretty plain as it is. Uh, and I don't let want that. I do. It's kind of like, you know, it's a graveyard. It's supposed to honor the horses. And, uh, well, not so much all the fun we've had together. But, you know, their lives and whatever. Death and stuff. There. Okay. Now that'll take care of that for now. Let's uh put some more torches up. I don't care too much if uh mobs spawn in here, but you know, I want it to be lit. I don't want it to just be dark. They should still spawn in the middle, it should be pretty gloomy. Which I like. Uh let's go grab some pods all. And we'll put that down where the grave was. Uh, and that's just to make it... We'll, we'll try Podzol, uh for some. We'll till the soil for some. A little bit different. Hey, don't you want to go in your home? Eh, guess not. I'll uh, build like a rail track or something for him. Did I? Oh, yeah. Yep. A uh, rail track to get him in his house at some point. Almost walked off the edge there. Where's Podzol? Uh, here. I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, nasally today, uh, or, well, pretty much every day of my life. Ah, 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 help, help me, help me, help me, Tom Cruise. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, I, I guess I kind of broke my nose when I was a kid. Um, when, uh, I don't know, it was, I was, we were pretty young. It was, uh, me, uh, my friend Adam, I've done some stuff with him, so you guys should, uh, be familiar with the name. Oh, did I? That, eh, let's leave it like that for now. I'm not sure if that'll stay. Um, me, him, and our other friend Tevin, yeah, that'll work for now. We were, uh, you know, hanging out on the playground, being boys, being dumb, and I ended up face planting pretty hard they tripped me kind of between them and then they both tried to grab my arms to save me like help from crashing into the ground face first uh but what happened was my arms just kind of slipped out of my jacket and so like they were just kind of held back and dangling behind me uselessly well i wasn't slowed down at all so i i pretty much went from about a full sprint to somehow face planting, bam, into the ground. It was like January here, so the ground was frozen super solid. And uh, I broke my nose and some teeth and, uh, you know, just generally messed my face up pretty good. Uh, and then, I, I think I, the doctor said I could have it operated on, and that should uh, fix a lot of the problems I would have with it. But I kind of put it off, hoed and hummed over it, was pretty scared, to be honest, to get it done. So I, I just didn't for a little while. Uh, it's not great, whatever. Uh, and then finally in grade 10, high school. Oh, I meant to put some more signs out over there, didn't I? Um, I, I got it fixed. I had what's called a deviated septum. Now, your septum is the thing in the middle of your nostrils, kind of that, like... Locker, block, blocking, blocking thing. But I don't know how to describe it better than that. But like the, the, not bone, the other less bone stuff. Uh, you you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, and it so. Oh, how do I make a sign? Oh, I need sticks. Um. 
So I uh, I uh, bent that, and that's what uh, deviated septum means. And then uh, because of that, I had difficulty breathing and stuff. Oh. And uh, oh man, can I just you know not type? Thanks. And then uh, so I finally got that fixed in grade ten, and that was supposed to make it so I could you know have full use of my nose and actually be able to breathe all the time and stuff. It didn't quite work though. Uh, I still, I'm still very, very plugged up a lot of the time, and uh, it, it seems. Oh, it's cartilage. That's the not bone stuff I was trying to think of. Uh, it seems like that kind of healed up wrong, and so uh, it it makes it like so that I'm always. Wow, chicken eggs! Holy Moses! I don't even have chest room for these bad boys. Uh. Oh, we'll just toss them down there. Get some more cooked chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Delicioso. Uh, and, yeah, so it's just, uh... Oh, I also lost my sense of smell, too, which wasn't... Which kind of sucks. Uh, but, you know, just boys being dumb and doing stupid things, so... If I ever sound, uh, nasally, I'm sorry. Uh, good chances I'm not sick. I'm just, uh, you know, super plugged up. And that's just normal for me. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I've already talked about my nose, which means I'm running out of stuff to say. Uh, but yeah, I've accomplished what I wanted to with this episode. And fortunately, we didn't get up interrupted by Coog calling me, which is good. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching, as always. Uh, check me out on Twitter. Uh, I th like to think I'm pretty funny, but I mean, my Twitter follower sure doesn't. Uh, da, da, da. Wow, you, what's that word? Um, sure doesn't reflect that. God, man, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, this is going up on a. Oh, this is going up on the thirty first. I believe, yep, yeah. so, uh, Happy New Year's Eve, uh, go out, party, uh, drink root beer if you're still a kid, uh, <laughs> don't do anything I wouldn't do, which pretty much gives you free reign, uh, follow your New Year's resolutions, no one will ever do that, don't actually even try, uh, I'm a good role model, um, yeah, so, uh, ah! Happy New Year's Eve, um, ooh, ooh, it's night. Fight my way home. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba. He'll burn to death. Um, and I will see you guys on Thursday. I said, right? Oh, I should pay attention to where I'm going. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday. So have yourselves a great day. Happy New Year. See you guys Thursday. Goodbye.